We're focused on your money, your business, your life. Hey, it's my brain trust buddy. How y'all doing? You're listening to Boomer's Brain Trust with Johnny Dean and Dinah Smith. Call 877-PLANNER. Wait for it. Wait for the cue. Uh, hey, thanks for joining us, folks. It is the Boomer's Brain Trust. Johnny Dean, Dinah Smith, the entire Brain Trust here for you. We'll bring back Professor Plum next hour. So if you have any questions, once again, we'll get to them. Uh, when we return. All right. So uh, it seems that U.S. household debt, by the way, rose in the latest quarter. We talked about this earlier in the week. Uh, it rose by the most of more than five years. And the share of student loans in delinquency hit a record high, or so says the latest data from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Now, those figures came in uh, about a week ago, last Thursday, I think it was. Total consumer debt rose 1.1% to $11.28 trillion in the third quarter. But revolving credit, which mostly measures uh, credit card use, fell $883 million last month. And by the way, it was the third straight month uh, that it showed a decline. So, so what does that mean? It must mean something. Otherwise, I wouldn't bring it up. Uh, no, it shows that consumers have apparently gotten the message, I hope, uh, about high interest revolving credit. Now, we're still borrowing money. But as far as the plastic goes, the current trend seems to be on a downward ang uh, angle at this particular time. Uh, There's a stark difference, by the way, from what we saw back in 2008 when credit hit a peak of $12.68 trillion. That was a record. That was in the third quarter of 2008. It's still the highest. Uh, Paul Oster is our credit repairman. He's got some insight into this phenomenon, and he's the owner of Better Qualified. It's a credit repair and protection company. He's been on with us several times. He's here with us once again on the Boomer's Lifeline. Hey, Paul, thanks for coming back on with us again. Appreciate your visit. Paul, thanks for having me on. Uh, you bet. So, so uh, consumers, I guess, are getting the message, or so it seems, that carrying too much credit card debt is a real burden on their budgets. Uh, what do the latest numbers on credit card usage indicate? Well, it, exactly what we're talking about. Consumers are getting the message about carrying balances uh, on their credit cards. And if you purchase an item uh, on a credit card that's $100, but you fail to pay it off uh, before the next due date, and your interest rate is, you know, sometimes people are paying 28 uh, percent compounded daily. Yeah. That hundred dollar item quickly becomes, uh, you know, 115, 130, 150 dollars, um, you know, for the same item. So people just need to be very, very careful about carrying any amount of debt uh, on their credit cards. Revolving credit card debt. You know, I say it all the time. One of the worst things that happened in this country is when we went from charge cards, mm -hmm. uh, which had to be paid off every 30 days, to credit cards. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, that the, the really, it, it revolutionized spending. But, of course, when you give the, that much power uh, to consumers to spend, uh, it creates uh, what, what we're seeing, what we've been seeing. So, so do you is, this, is this a real trend, do you think? Or is this just a, a, a kind of a small anomaly in what's become sort of a larger grid of consumer borrowing that you're referring to? No, you know, uh, unfortunately, you know, when we first started talking about, uh, you know, doing the show, we were talking about the overall, um, you know, debt being down, you know, uh, household debt. Uh, and, and then since then, when, that, when those figures came out, when the Federal Reserve uh, released those numbers, uh, it certainly has now shown a trend, unfortunately, going back the other way. So uh, most people think, including myself, that uh, that era of deleveraging, uh, which was a very good period over the past five years, uh, might be on the way out for sure. And, and just recently they, they did say, um, you know, credit card uh, spending is up about $4 billion, um, but people are paying off uh, the balances um, instead of carrying, you know, the debt. So uh, some mixed signals there, but certainly I think uh, the days or the, the past five years of deleveraging uh, might be on the way out. Well, that's, that's reassuring, I'm sure. <laughs> I know, um, <laughs> Paul, it would seem that the government would like to see uh, folks begin spending a little bit more again so we can get those cash registers ringing and companies can start hiring folks and maybe get out of this unemployment problem we've been stuck in. But, you know, if we uh, spend too much and have too much leverage, it's kind of what got us into the first uh, mess that we were in in the first place. Do you think if people start spending on credit like we used to, are we going to risk seeing another crisis? 
Yeah, we, you know, we have, uh, we seem to have terrible memories and, and selective memories at best. Um, and, you know, your listeners will probably know this if they think about it for a second. You know, I can attest to it personally. Um, recently, I've had a flood of junk mail and uh, credit card solicitations that seem to have dropped off dramatically again uh, over the past five years. Just recently, in the past six months, uh, it seems every day I'm, I'm getting two and three different uh, offers from these credit card companies. So, unfortunately, uh, we might be going back into you know uh, the down cycle in terms of uh, you know people using their credit again and and leveraging themselves uh, you know to that point. And especially young people, you know, John, you mentioned credit uh, student loan debt. Right. Uh, we have about 39 million borrowers out there that owe over. One trillion dollars in student loan debt. Oh yeah. And the job market, you know, is simply not what uh, it should be, and certainly not what they thought it was going to be when they're years old and, and signing for those uh, student loans. So we're in trouble. We used to talk about people being house poor, and that's why they were financing uh, more for buying a car and. and uh, more for oh, yeah. uh, major appliances, oh, we portable saw, goods. We, we saw it, and you mentioned uh, deleveraging, how it's, it, it was kind of a nice trend. I mean, it wasn't great for the economy, but people had to do it. Do you think paying down credit cards gives us more power to borrow when we really need it? Is that what it is? Well, that certainly should be you know, the case and the goal for everyone. Um, paying down debt should be the number one priority for anyone listening to the show. Uh, and I mean putting that before anything else, before putting money into a savings account that's yielding 2%, and yet you're carrying a debt load that you could be paying, again, over 20%, um, you know, to carry that debt. So paying off the debt should be priority one. It's, it's the most sound financial planning advice uh, oh, yeah. that anyone can can take or, or give, for sure. So, yeah, you're right. And then in, in the long run, it will give them the ability, you know, paying down your debt is going to raise your credit score. Uh, it's called your utilization ratio, and it's about 30% of your overall score. So it's certainly something that folks need to pay attention to. Absolutely, Paul, because, because once again, when you're, if you're talking about low, uh, low rates of return, if you're paying off a 20%, 25% debt, that's in many ways it's tantamount to getting a 25% return on a savings account or on an investment. So, uh, you know, sometime i got to have you back on where we can maybe talk about debts. You mentioned student loan. I, I, I'd love to talk a little bit about that and how young people are getting into debt. We're kind of out of time right now. Paul Oster, uh, it's uh, betterqualified.com if people want some more information, right? That's right, Jeff. Betterqualified.com. Hey, Paul, thanks again. We're going to have you on as a regular. We appreciate that. Member of the Brain Trust, Paul Oster. Some, uh, uh, I tell you what, you know, credit card debt got us into trouble. They want us to spend some more to the, get the economy going. It's sort of an unending cycle. It's kind of, uh, it's, it's the reality. All right. Uh, hey, a lot more to come. Stick around. Another hour of all of this. If you need the Brain Trust, boomersbraintrust.com is the website. Stick around. We're talking about what's important to you, your money, your business, your life. This is Boomer's Brain Trust. The views and opinions expressed on the show are not necessarily those of this station or its sponsors and should not be considered as legal tax or investment advice. You should always consult with the appropriate advisors before making any financial decision.